Right. So just to round everything off, one final question that we're going to be asking everyone, which we asked Andy last week. You've got one match that you can finally fish. You've got to pick the venue and you've got to pick four anglers to fish it with you. Two of them being anglers and two of them being non-anglers. So celebrities or anything right. like that. Living okay. or dead anywhere okay. in the world. The choice is yours. Yeah, and obviously we put Andy on the spot. You've had a few days to think about this in a way because uh, I bet when we asked Andy, you probably thought, oh, who, who would I? Yeah, well, I did actually, but I, bear in mind, I only listened to it on Saturday. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, okay. So a bit off the wall, this one. Yeah, so ve venue first of all. It's the K.O. Paradon in Cuba fishing for bonefish. Nice. Yeah. Standard match venue then. Standard <laughs> match venue, yeah. And then two ang two anglers that you'd fish it with and two okay. non-anglers. Stevie Gardner. Because he is he is the best tactician I've ever known in my fishing life. He's never satisfied with what he's doing. And he's always trying to find a way to catch more fish. And he normally finds that way. Yeah. Kevin Ashurst, because he's just the god of match fishing, he's still brilliant. He's 80 years old in about a month's time. So he's going to and your match and Andy's match, I believe. He's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he's now just a busy few days. He's, <laughs> he's been most people's team. He's absolutely brilliant. And two non-anglers. David Attenborough. Nice. nice. Did you see him at Glastonbury? Yeah, I saw him. Oh, yeah. so yeah. there was something like 10,000 people in the crowd, maybe more, Yeah. watching him, and he silenced them oh, all. No, A rowdy Glastonbury crowd. He started speaking and silenced them all. They all. He's probably the one person, I think he's 83 years old, Yeah. is he? Yeah. Um, he's yeah. probably the one person that, to every single age group, Appeals, doesn't it? Yeah, he, we need we need him promoting him. fishing. That's well, sort yeah. He'd be a brilliant. But my reason him. for him being in my team is if the world doesn't listen to people like him, we won't have any fish to fish for. Yeah, we won't. And I know I know everyone's harping on about plastic, about um, the environment, about the climate change, but it's happening. He's right, and we we have got to listen to him. In everyday life, whatever you do, you've got to listen to people like this. I'm an old git, but we've all got to listen. And I reckon he'd be good at fishing as well. I reckon he would. I reckon he'd be proper tuned yeah. into it, wouldn't he? He'd yeah, be... he would. He'd understand how fish yeah. work and so. The pressures. Yeah. He'd, he'd know all that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and finally, it's got to be Kylie. I mean, she was, a, <laughs> she was at Glastonbury as well, <laughs> which is. Uh, it's got to be Kylie. Got to be Kylie. <laughs> Just for some eye candy on the boat. Well, she can sing a bit as well. You're, what, you're that same. <laughs> but you're that. What I mentioned before. Fish, boobs, that's Darren. Well, I've got Kylie to tell you a really good boat. story before we go, right? Julie, my wife, we were in a quiz, a Mr. and Mrs. quiz years ago. And uh, she knows how much I like David Attenborough. And we were winning this quiz, Mr. and Mrs. Just a bit of fun, like with a load of friends. And. The, the question was, who would you like to be stuck in a lift with, <laughs> most of all? So, Julie's thinking, oh, he likes David Attenborough, he's great. And I'm thinking, I like Kylie, aren't I? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I said Kylie, and Julie said David Attenborough. Oh, I didn't go down very well. No, I was going to say, that's, <laughs> not, the, was, that's not the tactical <laughs> answer. <laughs> but she was right. She was right. It was David Attenborough, but probably with Kylie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice. Great way to round it up. Thank you. Kylie and David Amber. Yeah. On that note, thank you very much. Thank You're you. welcome. Enjoyed it. It's quite great. Carry it on. One final note to everybody who's listened and got in touch with us so far. The feedback has been absolutely amazing. If you can, please pass the pod. And as well as that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you're listening to this. Um, subscribe, leave us some nice feedback if that's what you want to do. We've still not heard from you, Pellets and Corn, so uh, please get in touch. Let us know what you think. <laughs>